In this track guide, we'll be looking at Spa Frankelschamp, looking at the breaking points and the breaking markers and references, which are objects around the track which we can use to visually memorize where we should be breaking. It's a very long track, also a very fast track, so let's get into it. Beginning our lap here at Spa, we want to be taking this final chicane almost as we usually would during a lap. If we're beginning a hot lap or a qualifying lap, we'll want to be staying more towards the right side of the track where the white arrow is, and that'll open up our entry line for the final corner, which will give us better speed onto the first straight. Using all the track here, picking up speed, now we head down to the first turn. For the first turn, we'll be looking out for the 100 meter board, which will be our braking reference here. We will see past this wall right here. We want to be braking alongside this 100 meter board and now shifting down to first gear where we head to the hairpin. Now I've shown the ideal line on the screen here. We almost want to have a, a late apex on this hairpin, carrying our speed out of the corner, accelerating as early as we can. And once we exit this corner, we carry our speed from here all the way to the end of the Kendall Straight. So sticking towards the right wall here, now we head down to a Rouge where we're going to be moving across the track slowly and we're going to cut all the way across this curb on the left here, moving onto the concrete where the white arrow is and then at the end of the curb where the white circle is on the track we begin turning at that point don't turn too aggressively because you might spin the car so practice this a few times at the end of the curb beginning to turn to the right and don't hit this curb on the inside here in radion if you use too much of the curb here you'll probably spin out or get unstable so just drive next to the curb very close to it but don't go onto it and then at the top here we want to cut almost completely across the curb straightening up our line as much as possible but don't go too much because if you cut too much of this curb onto the grey onto the tarmac there that will invalidate our lap but anyway we carry our speed onto the Kimmel straight now sticking to the right making a line as short as possible then moving back to the left side of the track preparing for the next braking point now our next braking reference will be the beginning of this curb that we will see right here braking just before this curb begins then shifting down and for this turn here we can bring the car across the astroturf slowing the car down enough and coasting across this astroturf putting the right side of the car onto the astroturf which will shorten the, co the corner as much as possible then a short burst of the throttle as we prepare for the next turn now for the next turn you can go onto the astroturf a little bit but the car might slide a little bit i only use the regular curb here so it's up to you wh whatever feels more comfortable to you they are both fa fast lines but for here i just use the curb pulling the car around, bringing the car back to the left side of the track where the white arrow is, which will open up our entry line for this right turn. Uh, a small lift of the throttle there and we back full throttle again. You can use a little bit of the astroturf here, but it might make the car bounce up a little bit. You want to get this corner as close to the astroturf as possible, but only use the regular curb, I think is the best line to take. And don't go into the sand on the exit here, it'll slow you down. For this turn, we want to be big, uh, we want to be braking just after this curb begins on the left, shifting down to second, and for this turn, we're going to make, be making a double apex. So at the beginning of this corner, we want to get, get close to the inside, and then carrying our speed, the car will move a little bit away from the corner in the middle of the turn, and then towards the end of the turn, we come back towards the inside of the track again, beginning to accelerate. We'll go back to the left and then to the right again, where it's a difficult braking reference here, but we have where the tree's beginning on the right there, we begin to brake and turn to the left. For this corner, we also, we can use some of the AstroTurf, but I'd suggest to avoid the AstroTurf and just use the normal curb, or be very close to the curb, carrying our speed through this turn and only accelerate around about where the apex is. Coming out of this turn, we don't want to go any wider than this, because if we go all the way onto the AstroTurf, we may get an invalid lap, or the car might start sliding around, because the AstroTurf's very slippery. Now heading down to the Puhon corner, we got another tricky braking point where we have two references. We have the orange lines on the fence there, which is the number two arrow, and we have a Marshall stand as the number one arrow. We want to break between those and shifting down to fourth here where we move into Puhon. Don't hit the curb here in Puhon because it will make you go wider on the in the middle of it, Puhon, which will push you onto the Astro turf, which is not what you want to do. Right here, I'm gonna show don't go out onto the AstroTurf because as soon as you put any wheels onto that, you will understeer and it will make you very, or you will lose time and it will be harder to make this the apex of this turn here. Carrying our speed through the turn using all the track, then back to the left where we have another braking reference of the beginning of the curb. But this quarter we want to be braking just before the curb starts. Shifting down to third, using the inside line here, we can use the inside curb to help pull the car around the corner, making our line just a little bit shorter. Wait for the car to grip, then accelerate a little bit, and then we turn back to the left using the inside curb again. But once we are off the throttle, we get onto the curb. And once we are halfway around this turn, then we can begin accelerating again. 
using all of the curb and exit, but don't go onto the AstroTurf again because it's very slippery out there and it might, it'll, you'll probably spin out if you go all the way to the AstroTurf. So just use the curb, then back to the left again where we have another reference point of the curb, braking before this curb starts, just before it starts, shifting down a second, trail braking a little bit towards this apex, and then again using a little bit of the inside curb and then accelerating at the apex, bringing the car out onto the AstroTurf, but be careful in case you slide. Don't go into the sand here, you will probably lose a lot of time. But if your car is in a straight line, you can use this AstroTurf, carrying your speed out here, and put your wheel back onto the inside curb to give you grip for this fast right-hander here. Don't go into the inside curb while you're accelerating because you will get oversteer, and again, you might spin. But you'll definitely lose time if you put too much of your wheels onto this curb here. Carrying all your speed out, um, using all the track, and now we head towards Blanchemont Corner, which is just up the hill here. We're moving to the left and then back to the right where we can put our car almost off, off of the track here, but not, not all the way, just a little bit, keeping our left wheels on the white line to be legal. We don't want to invalidate our lap. Turning just a little bit so you perfectly slip through this corner without turning too much. If you turn too much, you will lose time. Again, don't hit this inside curb while you're accelerating here because it's easy to get in, unstable or the car might spin. Now to the final main braking point of the, core, uh, of the circuit, we use the 150 meter board braking just after it, shifting down to first gear for the final chicane. Don't hit the sausage curb, but tuck just around the sausage curb, keeping close to the right hand side as we want to open up our turn for, or the final turn here. Keep it to the right just a little bit, turning to the left, again avoiding the sausage curb, just using all of the regular curb and accelerating once we reach the apex or just after the apex of the final turn. All the way on the throttle using the track exit here, just using all of, all of the curb and heading straight towards the finish line. And that was the time of 2 minute 15.7, which I was, I was quite happy with. Another nice lap, only just a couple very small mistakes in that lap. Um, I can't actually remember which corners I made mistakes on, but it was a very clean lap. I'll let you watch this lap again without me talking, so you can watch without distractions and I'll talk at the end of the video. Again, we come out the final turn and this has been a lap at Spa Francorchamps. And I hope this guide has helped you. If you're struggling to make it to the corners, I would suggest a brake earlier to brake softer until you're more confident with how the car handles. 